welcome back to the Karen Cave. Today I'm going to make a really fun, fresh summer salad that I thought I'd share with you. It's pretty easy. Um, it doesn't call for too many ingredients and actually you can substitute and even add some other ones. I think one of the best things about growing up um, that I can remember about the corn um, back in Illinois is that it was always knee high by the 4th of July. Well, that is so different now where I live um, out on the East Coast. Our corn is actually coming off right now around the 4th of July. So it makes um, for a wonderful creamy uh, corn salad that has yogurt in it and it has some mayonnaise, some red onion, some cilantro, um, so a little bit of uh, red bell pepper. And the best part of this is that I use um, some garlic powder and my favorite Portillo's celery salt. Yes, this usually goes on the Chicago hot dogs, but we're gonna put a little bit of in our creamy corn salad today, and it tastes just so delicious. So come with me to make some um, creamy corn salad. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do um, before we get everything else prepared, um, all of our ingredients, you know how I like to do that is have everything ready just to dump it in and measure it all out. Um, we're gonna to wanna to take our corn and add it to our pot of boiling water and let it fully cook, 10 to 12 minutes, because um, we want our corn cooked and ready to take off the cob for our relish. So let's get cooking on that. And while that's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my onion and my cilantro um, and my bell pepper and get all the ingredients ready. So once the corn comes off and we scrape it off, all we have to do is mix all of our ingredients. So let's get cooking. Okay, so as you can see, I've gotten my corn out of um, the boiling water and it's actually cool and it's ready for me to start taking the kernels off of the cob. Um, one of the ways that you can do that is with different tools that you can get, little gadgets. Um, this one I actually bought several years ago and this is the one I'll be showing you how to do it. Again, you can use that nice, sharp, perforated knife. Um, and I'll have all these tools in my description for you that you can um, order. And this is something that we will use later um, in a couple of weeks when we actually do creamed corn. This is um, an old fashioned tool that you just run the, the um, cob of corn down here and it takes the kernels off and it juices the cob all together. So what we don't want to do today is we don't want that juice. So something like this I would not use today, but we'll, again, we'll use that when we do our cream corn um, in a few weeks. So what we'll want to do is um, make sure um, that when you do clean your corn that you've got all your silks out of the corn because if they're not, when you start taking all these kernels off, your silk is going to go with it and then it's going to go into your salad. And um, it doesn't look pretty and it doesn't taste good. So um, you don't want to make have any of that silk in there. And one way to get those silks out is just go to the dollar store and buy an, a little toothbrush um, for uh, a dollar, um, I guess a dollar and a quarter now. Um, but take that toothbrush and run it down and get all those silks out. You wanna make sure that they're out. And some of them, they will come out even when you're boiling the corn, but make sure that you check your ears of corn before you take all these kernels off that you don't have any silks. So let's get started and I'll show you exactly how um, to take this, um, these kernels off the cob and make sure you got a clean cut from them, okay? Okay, so um, I've already done one ear of corn and you can kind of see that it doesn't go completely down. You're not getting the part of the corn that has all that juice in it. So we don't, we don't want that for this type of salad. But I'm gonna use this um, type of um, kernel extractor. And what you do is you just start up at the top and gently push down on it and it will take the kernels right off. And it doesn't get to that lower level where you're taking the juice off of it. You're just basically getting all of the kernels that you want off for your salad. This is a nice little gadget, but again, you can use just a perforated knife and do the same thing. So there you go. So again, just using a nice, sharp, perforated knife. And I've got some of these in my description below that you can use as well. 
Um, it takes it takes it off just as easy. He, the big thing here is that you just want to go slow and you want to get that top layer. You don't want to get down to where you're taking the juice with it. Okay? So I'm going to finish up getting all of my kernels off and cut this into a bowl. And then we're going to add all of our ingredients and mix it up and have a beautiful corn uh, relish. Okay, as you can see, I have got all of my um, kernels off the cob. I did use 10 ears of corn for this recipe. And um, just depending on the size of the ears of corn, you can use anywhere from 10 to 12 um, ears of corn. So what we're going to want to do next is add all of our other ingredients. Um, this is a half a cup of red bell pepper chopped up. And in this bowl we have some mayonnaise and that wonderful Portilla's celery salt in there. And we have some yogurt with some black pepper and some onion powder in this. And then we're going to add a half a cup of red onion, chopped up, very chunky. And we're also going to add about a fourth of a cup of cilantro. And again, this is entirely up to you. If you like cilantro, you can add more to it. If you don't like it, um, you can substitute it out for some parsley. Again, the same with the yogurt. Um, you can use um, sour cream. Or you can even use just a little bit of cream cheese, maybe a half a brick, half, maybe four ounces instead. So as you can see, it's getting mixed in really nice. And I think the secret with um, this also is to get it really cold and chill it before you serve it. Um, and let it sit, possibly if you have time, um, overnight because it will the, the flavors of the seasonings will just ferment into it. Um, so, and it's a very um, beautiful dish. Um, it can be kind of dressed up with a little bit of red onion on the top or even just a little bit of parsley. So um, again, it's just a beautiful, fun summer dish. Our corn relish turned out beautiful today. I'm really um, happy with the results of this. And I did taste it a little bit and it is so delicious. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you'll ring the bell and come back and you'll subscribe to my page. Again, in the description, I've got a list of a lot of the tools that you can use that will make this recipe a little bit simpler for you. Thanks for joining me and I hope to see you again.